Given a liquid mixture contains 350 parts per million of benzene and 900 parts per million of xylene in cyclohexane, if the liquid mixture is gasified, it's asking for the mole fraction of benzene, xylene, and cyclohexane and average molecular weight of the mixture. I'm going to show you two ways to solve this problem, but they should come up with the same answer. The first method is the method used by my professor. For a liquid mixture, we know that it's often referred to proper million as the mass proper million. That is the mass of the species divided by the total mass times 10 to the 6 proper million. And notice that mass of the species divided by the total mass is the mass fraction of the species. Therefore, for 350 proper million of benzene, is equal to the mass fraction of benzene times 10 to the 6 part per million. Then we can calculate the mass fraction of benzene is equal to 350 ppm divided by 10 to the 6 ppm that we get 3.5 times 10 to the 94th that is the mass fraction of benzene and we can perform the same calculation to xylene given that xylene is 900 part per million so the mass fraction of xylene is 900 part per million divided by 10 to the 6 part per million then you get 9.0 times 10 to the 94th then the mass fraction of cyclohexane is simply using 1 minus the sum of benzene plus xylene mass fraction then we get 0 0.9988 the reason this is a lot more than the other two species because um, this is the solution that is in masses amount. Now we can use the equation to calculate average molecular weight in terms of mass fraction that is 1 divided by average molecular weight is equal to the sum of the mass fraction of the species divided by molecular weight of the species then go ahead to substitute the equation with the number which is found then mass fraction of benzene is 3.5 times 10 to the 94th divided by molecular weight of benzene is 98.11 gram per mole plus the mass fraction of xylene divided by the molecular weight of xylene plus mass fraction of cyclohexane divided by molecular weight of cyclohexane then we get this number remember this number is 1 divided by the molecular weight so we had to use 1 divided by this number to get average molecular weight then we got 84.175 gram per mole we're not done yet it's asking for the mole fraction but we have mass fraction and we have found out the average molecular weight we can assume that the mass of the mixture is 100 gram the number you assume for the mass mixture does not matter and I'm gonna show you why you can assume for just one gram or you can assume for a thousand gram so the mole fraction is the mole number of the species divided by the mixture mole number and we have found out the mass fraction so the mass make the mass of the mixture is a hundred gram right then hundred gram times the mass fraction you get the mass number of benzene and divided by molecular weight of benzene we get the mole number of benzene in the Nominator divided by the mole number of the mixture. Mole number of mixture can be calculated from the mass number divided by the average molecular weight. We just calculated that. Then we get the mole number, mole fraction of benzene. Notice that 100 gram for mass of the mixture you just assume has been has been canceled out. So you have 100 gram here in the denominator and 100 gram in the denominator. They cancel out. Therefore, I say the number of the mass of the mixture does not matter. Then perform the same calculation to the mole fraction of xylene. We get 9.0 times 10 to the 94th for the mass fraction of xylene times 100 gram and divided by molecular weight of xylene. We get mole number of xylene divided by the mole number of mixture is 100 gram mixture divided by average molecular weight. Then we get a mole fraction of xylene is 
7.13 times 10 to the negative fourth. Then the mole fraction of cyclohexane is simply using one minus the sum of mole fraction of the other two species. That we got 0 0.9988. So here's your final answer. Now let's check the second method. Well, for liquid species, proper milling is the mass proper milling, and by definition, proper milling means part of the species per million gram of solution. Uh, we can use gram or kilogram, that's not matter. As long as the units are consistent, so it's mass of the species per million mass of the solution. That's for the liquid phase. Now we have 350 proper million of benzene giving the problem statement. That means 350 gram of benzene per million gram of cyclohexane solution. Therefore, we can use the mass number and divided by average, uh, divided by the molecular weight of the species. In this case, benzene is 350 gram divided by 78.11 gram benzene. Then we get the mole number of uh, benzene. In this way, we get the mole number, not the mole fraction. And perform the same thing, we get the mole number of xylene. Given that, that xylene is 900 proper million, and 900, it means that 900 gram of xylene per million gram of cyclohexane, right? So 900 gram xylene divided by the molecular weight of xylene is 106.16 gram. Then we got 8.48 mole xylene. And mole number of cyclohexane is because we say it's per million gram, so that is a million gram of cyclohexane divided by the molecular weight of cyclohexane. Then we get mole number of cyclohexane. Then the total mole number is the sum of all the mole number for all the three species. Then we get 11,895.65 mole. Then the mole fraction can be easily calculated by using the mole number of the species divided by the total mole number. So for benzene, we have 4.48 mole divided by 11,895.65 mole for the mixture. Then we get 3.77 times 10 to the negative fourth. Then do the same thing to xylene, we get 8.48 mole number for xylene divided by the mole number of the mixture, we get 7.13 times 10 to the negative fourth. And the mole fraction for cyclohexane is simply using one minus the sum of the other species mole fraction, then we get 0 0.9988. And we can find the average molecular weight using the equation in terms of mole fraction. That is the sum of mole fraction of the species times the molecular weight of the species. Then we get substitute the equation with the number we just found. Then we got 84.175. Now let's go back, look at the answer from the first method. We get exactly the same answer. 84.175 from average molecular weight and mole fraction for benzene is 3.77 times 10 to the negative fourth. Xylene is 7.13 times 10 to the negative fourth. There you go we got exactly the same result.